Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to find out the distance between two parallel lines. In the previous video I have discussed about how to find the distance of a line from a point. Now here we are going to find out the formula of the distance between two parallel lines. Let's assume that we have two parallel lines L1 and L2 as in the diagram and also let's assume that there is a point P on the line L2 and the coordinates of P are x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and we have to find the distance between these two parallel lines that means if we drop a part perpendicular from P onto the line 1 and if we assume that the perpendicular lands on the point S then PS would be the distance between the two parallel lines assuming that this is a perpendicular so let me kind of indicate that. So essentially we have to find out the length of PS. Now let's first discuss about the equations of the two parallel lines. I have assumed that the equations are like AX plus BY plus C sub 1 equals 0 for the first line and for the second line I have assumed that the equation would be ax plus by plus c sub 2 is equal to 0. Now is that a correct assumption? Well let's check it out. So for the first line we have equation as ax plus by plus c sub 1 is equal to 0 and if we convert it into y equals mx plus b form then it will look like this. So from here we can say by would be equal to negative ax minus c sub 1 and from here we see that y would be equal to negative a over b times x minus c sub 1 over b. So here we see that the slope of this line is negative a over b and similarly the slope of the second line also should be negative a over b because they are parallel lines. Parallel lines have same slope right that's one of the fundamental characteristics of parallel lines that their slopes will be equal. So let's also find out the slope of the second equation and from the second equation what we have we have again ax plus by plus c sub 2 is equal to 0 and from here you can clearly see that by can be written as negative ax and negative c sub 2 and from here we can say y must be equal to negative a over b times x minus c sub 2 over b and here again we can see that the slope of this line is also equal to negative a over b. So the two equations that we have assumed for the two parallel lines they are valid because they both have the same slope and that's exactly what we care about for two parallel lines. Alright so we have assumed correct kind of equation. Now let's proceed further. In the previous video we have derived the formula of distance of a line from a point. So using that same formula what would be the distance of line L1 from the point P? Well that distance would be we can say PS will be equal to modulus of A times X sub 1 plus B times Y sub 1 plus C sub 1 over square root of A square plus B square. The previous video that I posted is exactly on this topic where we have derived the formula for the distance of a line from a point. Feel free to watch that video. Now since P is a point on the line 2, the coordinates of P must satisfy the equation of line 2. So what was the equation of line 2? Well it was like this. It is AX plus BY plus C sub 2 is equal to 0 and if we use the coordinates of P in this equation so we can say then the coordinates of P must satisfy that means it would be A times X sub 1 because X sub 1 is the X coordinate of P plus B times Y sub 1 because Y sub 1 is the Y coordinate of B plus C sub 2 is equal to 0 and from here we can say well then A times X sub 1 plus B times Y sub 1 would be equal to negative C sub 2 and we are going to use this particular value for a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 right in here. Here we see that we have a times x sub 1 and b times y sub 1. So here we can say that then ps would be equal to modulus of negative c sub 2 and positive c sub 1 over square root of a square plus b square and that will be equal to modulus of c sub 1 minus c sub 2 over square root of a square plus b square and also it can be written as 
because inside the modulus function we can change the signs of each term we can reverse the sign of each term meaning we can multiply each of the terms by a negative one and that will not alter the value of this absolute value or the modulus value so those are the two forms of the distance between two parallel lines let me highlight those that is one of them and here is the other one whichever form you use it will work just fine because we have the modulus function there so we will always get the same result let's take an example let's suppose we have been given the equations of two parallel lines and we have been asked to find the distance between the two parallel lines let's suppose the equation of the first line is like this and the equation of the second straight line is like this now let's convert them into the ax plus by plus c form so for each of these equations we can write them like this so the first one can be written as 3x plus 4y minus 1 equals 0 and then the second one can be written as 3x plus 4y minus 2 is equal to 0 and here you see our c sub 1 is actually right here this is our c sub 1 which is negative 1 and then c sub 2 is actually negative 2 so what would be the distance then all well, the distance would be the distance between these two parallel lines would be modulus of c sub 1 so let me first write it like this modulus of c sub 1 minus c sub 2 over square root of a squared plus b squared and what is a and what is b well actually this is our a right here the th positive 3 and b is actually the positive 4 and we already know the c sub 1 and c sub 2 so let's just substitute the values here then and if we substitute the values of c sub 1 c sub 2 a and b then we can write it as modulus of what is c sub 1 that is actually negative 1 minus what is c sub 2 that's negative 2 and then over a squared plus b squared now what is a in this case well a is actually 3 so that would be 3 squared plus b would be positive 4 that's 4 squared and this is equal to modulus of negative 1 positive 2 over square root of 9 plus 16 and that can be written as modulus of positive 1 over square root of 25 and that is nothing but 1 modulus of positive 1 is 1 over square root of 25 would be 5 so the distance between the parallel lines is actually one fifth of a unit the lines are actually pretty close to each other but that's okay mathematically the answer is correct and that's our answer i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video